Hey, what's up, y'all? So I wanted to repost my boy's video to give it a little bit more love because I feel like this is like one of the dopest customs I've seen. So I just wanted to repost it and take it away, Rolo. Oh, check it out. Check it out. This here goes out to all the niggas that be fucking mad bitches. Man, these things are beautiful. Yo, what's good guys, Duncan's Nice, Rollo Tornado Jr. here. I'm gonna turn these Neptune SBs to these Paris SBs. Shout out to my boy, Derek Nomadic, for letting me borrow these Paris SBs while I do the customs. I know it's gonna be good, so let's get right into it. I got this box here full of paint. We got this paint here. Shout out to Tragic. He let me borrow some of his paint. Some of it's drying up, but they're in these containers. There's about like 50 plus colors in there. I probably might not use all of them, but just in general, I'm gonna try to do my best to match Paris. So the main color I'm gonna be using is clay in the sand. It's a little off, I just gotta pretty much add some white. So I have this mixing jar here. I'm gonna be using flat white. So it's pretty close to it. It's not a bit darker, but in terms of the shade and the color, pretty close. Could add a couple more whites, but overall it's uh, not that bad. So I got the paint mixture that I wanted. The next step is acetoning down the shoes, which you can see right here. After removing the factory varnish, the next step is adding the base coat, which is white. Since the base shoe is a royal blue, it will take about five to 10 coats of white paint. So this has four coats of white on the uppers and on the inner panels right here. I'm gonna start working with the mixture I just did and then I'll start my way on working with the main design on the uppers again before I work on with the anything else. tape I work section by section. This is where the hard part begins because after using a small flat paintbrush for the base color, the only paintbrush used is a tiny detail brush. The work gets very tedious. Painting the guy with the orange jacket that you see right here was one of the toughest parts to paint. Remember how the paint hardened up and added water? Well, I thought it was a good idea to have a more watery liquid paint, which resulted the paint to leak through the masking tape. Another issue I encountered was the paint leaked through in some areas. I had to go back and repaint white to start over. Afterwards, I took a look at the whole shoe and made some last minute touch-ups that really needed some work. All right guys, now it's time to work on that left shoe. What I noticed on the left shoe was the Paris's was it had a larger artworks compared to the right pair that I worked on first. Using the Paris light brown paint mixture, I used a 50-50 ratio with the GAC 900 for the tongue. Afterwards, I did the same thing except with black paint for the sock liner. After painting the tongue logo, really the last step is to paint the swoosh.
right, so here are the customs. It took longer than expected, but I'm really happy how they turned out. Man, a lot of work went into these customs. But there's a people I gotta say thanks to. I just wanna shout out Derek Nomadic for lending me his Paris SBs to get it down right to the small details. I really appreciate it. As well as Tragic93 for lending me all those colors that you guys saw in the video. So shout out to those guys right there. If you guys haven't yet, please like that thumbs up. It really mean a lot to me. As well as commenting down below in the comments, letting me know what you guys think. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'm always putting out daily vlogs and videos and I also put out more upcoming sneaker videos. But yeah, man, I'm really happy how the customs turned out. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it.